well, let's consider the diagram together. Given A, B, C, D as a quadrilateral, then with A, B being equal to D, C and A, D being equal to B, C as given in the diagram. So we are required to prove that triangle A, B, D, which is this triangle, and triangle B, C, D are congruent to each other. This is what we are to prove, that these two triangles are congruent to each other. So we really have to remember the conditions for congruence, that we are having side, side, side. If all corresponding sides are equal, also have angle, angle, side. If two corresponding angles and one side is equal to each other, or we are having side, angle, side, so which means if there is an angle, there is an angle between two corresponding sides, then therefore those triangles are congruent to each other. Then the last one is right angle, hypotenuse, side. If there is a right angle, then there is the, the, the hypotenuse is said to be equal to both triangles, then therefore one other side, then therefore we can say that the triangle is, uh, the two triangles are congruent to each other. So we just need to take one of these conditions to prove that these two triangles are equal, are congruent to each other. So the idea is to see what is given there because really, we really don't have any information about angles being equal. We really don't have the information about angles being equal because we cannot say B1 is equal to B2 because of alternate angles. Yes, those angles do alternate, but they are not equal up until AB is given to be parallel to ODC. But now we don't have the information for this B1 being equal to D2. So we really don't have information about angles. So that is why they have given us all these sides being equal to each other. So which means the possible one is side, side, side. So let's just get into it. So the idea is to first introduce the triangles that you are proving that in triangle A, B, D and triangle B, C, D. What do you notice to these two triangles? So I notice that A, B is equal to D, C. So what is the reason for that? The reason is given because you can see in the diagram, even in the statement, this uh, information is given to you. Then we are having A, D being equal to o, B, C. The reason is still given because you can see that this A, D is given as equal to o, B, C as given in the diagram. Then we are left with one side now because we are proving all these corresponding sides being equal to each other. So what are we having? We have DB. DB, this is our DB. And you can see that both of these two triangles that we are comparing, they are sharing that side. So we can call that side a common, a common side. So we now have all these straight sides being um, proven to be correspondingly equal to each other. So we can conclude to say, therefore, triangle ABD is congruent to triangle BCD. So the reason is with the condition that we have used, which is side, side, side. So we are done with 6.1.1. You just need to check what information given for you to choose which condition is, is possible. And it, 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 it's possible to solve or to prove the congruency between two shapes. Now, let's get into 6.1.2. Hence, prove that AB, which is this side, is parallel to DC. And AD is parallel to OBC. So this is what we are to prove, that these two things are parallel to each other. Then it continues to say using the answer in this. So we are using the answer. The answer that we have is that these two triangles are congruent to each other. So that's the answer that we have. Then they continues to say, you may not say that 
this is a parallel graph let us not use the information about uh, properties of a parallel graph let's just use the information above now the idea is to know that in or in order for this line a b this in order for this line a b to be parallel to this line dc it's whereby the alternate angles are equal to each other are they not equal these two angles after we have proven that this triangle adb and triangle bcd are congruent to each other and these two angles are the corresponding angles for these two co-congruent co 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 triangles so they are equal so b1 is equal to d2 reason these we have proven that they are congruent triangles because of congruent triangles so therefore a b is going to be parallel to c d why because the alternate angles are equal are equal once the alternate angles are equal it means that the lines are parallel to each other so if the alternate angles were not equal then therefore those two lines were not going to be parallel to each other same applies even now go d d1 d1 is going to be equal to b2 reason congruent triangles we're not going to say alternate angles we're, we're going to be talking about congruent triangles congruent triangles these two angles are equal because of course this and those ones they are corresponding angles they are they 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 they, 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 they these angles they do correspond because they are found in the same place the idea is that they facing they are facing equal lines so in these cor in these congruent triangles so those lines are said to be equal to each other because yes they are uh, the corresponding angles are equal to each other so the idea is to say this angle is equal to that angle once they are equal and they are found in the alternate position so this this means this line ad is going to be parallel to line bc that way so we did not use the information about parallelogram yes but then we did follow the idea of having uh, alternate angles being equal such as that the lines are parallel to each other thank you see you in the next video